Free coffees, please. Coming right up. So how's your mum? Heard she was on the move again. And a chocolate muffin. Debbie, are you all right, love? How are you? Absolutely fine. So you be at work? Yeah, bacon butty run. Uh, Viv, uh, four white, four whole meal, and uh, sometime this century would be nice. Oh, you should have come in before Brenda swanned off to the bank. We've been worried about you, all of us. Even Shadrach. I'm fine. So my mum didn't want to stick around, so what? She's a big girl, and so am I. And I don't need a support group. No, we just want to help you. Anything you want. Help? Why? It isn't your fault. But we're your family. Oh, is that supposed to make me feel better? No offence, but aren't you the last person in the world that should be given advice on mother and child relationships? Debbie, that's out of order. Oh, sorry, did you miss a bit? Are we not loud enough for you? I don't know what you mean. No, of course not. You know, I don't blame my mum for getting out of here the first chance she got. Debbie. Do you know what would really help me? Everybody and every busybody staying out of my business. With you in a sec. I've got a hug for your old mum, then. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't leave. I won't say that. You made a pretty good job of it on my birthday. <sighs> All you had to do was sit down, smile and eat with your family. But you couldn't do it, so you just went. But I came back. Why? Wouldn't they let you on a plane dressed like that? I didn't get as far as buying the tickets. Just checked myself into a hotel. And the bed was a bit hard, so you thought you'd come back here? I thought about going. Selling the car, getting as far away as possible. I thought about it for two days, but I just couldn't. Not while you still had a daughter that you could squeeze just a little bit more misery out of. I couldn't leave you, Debbie. I didn't want to stay, but I, I couldn't leave you. Because <laughs> I love you. Funny way of showing it. <laughs> I'm sorry about Noah. I said some things that I shouldn't have. I'm sure that'll make it feel a lot better. <laughs> How is he? How do you think? He's confused. Just found out his dad ain't his real dad. <sighs> He's a tough little so-and-so. He's had to be. He's dealing with it. Maybe now Michael's gone, it'll be easier. Well, if there's anything that I can do, I'll say to him. Oh, great. Tell me I'm hallucinating. Dad, not now. Get out. No. And take your sprog with you. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, for the next five minutes. Ever. Here. Twenty grand. It's all there. Minus some food and a couple of nights in some cruddy hotel. I want you to have it. Keep it. What? You'll need it for the next time you run away. Which she will. Debbie. Because whether he likes it or not, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> 